DWFCA's Faith in Sports. I'm Chris Schneider. Welcome to the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, brought to you by the 39th Annual Tom Landry Open Golf Tournament, April 18th at the Stonebriar Country Club in Frisco. Registration deadline is April 4th. It's coming up. Our special guest on the show today is one of the very few men in the Dallas Cowboys famed Ring of Honor, Cliff Harris. When I go to lunch with Leroy, uh, I go to Leroy from uh, Jordan and Walt from time to time. I work with Charlie Waters, so I see him every day. And so it's we stay in touch. Drew Pearson is a good close friend, and we feel right. So I think we all had our time during the cowboy era that we were all pretty much characters but uh but they all all of them have mellowed out over the years i think the guy that's hung in there the longest and unique and most unique is walt garrison you know he's still a cowboy i mean a rodeo cowboy you know so but they're 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 good friends we'll have more from cliff harris coming right up our dfwfca 50th anniversary classic moment this week is with major league baseball cy young award winner toronto blue jays pitcher r.a dickey you know in in this present day culture so much of our worth is tied up in performance and i guess my my advice would be understand that you know as an athlete that's just a small part of who you are and and understand that your real worth and your real value comes in being a child of the living God. More with R.A. Dickey coming up. We will also hear from DFWFCA area representative for Northwest Texas, Glenn Verba. For me, it's the, it's the coaches through the kids because the huddle coaches I get to deal with because I did it for so many years – their impact is beyond what anybody can believe from a spiritual standpoint. And I, I understand coaches since I was one for 33 years, so I feel like I have a really easy in with them, and they tend to trust me really quickly because I get them. I get where they're at. So to me, it's, it's coaches. More from DFWFCA's Glenn Verba coming up shortly. In 2016, the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes celebrates 50 years of ministry thanks to Coach Tom Landry's vision back in 1966. And we continue today to influence lives with the gospel. This ministry is reaching a minimum of 16,000 athletes and 500 coaches in North Texas. Be a part of the celebration. Go to dfwfca.org to see how you can join us and be a part of the team. Our special guest on DFWFCA's Faith in Sports this week is in a very exclusive club, the Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor. Only the greatest of the greatest Dallas Cowboys, 21 in all, have been enshrined in the ring. Guys like Tom Landry and Roger Staubach, of course, and our guest today, Cliff Harris. Now, the Cowboys got lucky with Cliff, who was signed by the team undrafted out of college. He won a starting spot in his rookie season and never looked back, going to five Super Bowls. Cliff Harris, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here on DFWFCA's Faith in Sports today. Now, you retired young, actually, at the age of 31 after the 1979 season. Does that seem like uh, like a different lifetime in a way? It really does. Um, I know that, especially during the NFL playoffs, the NFC and the AFC championship games, and the Super Bowl. All of a sudden, I you know my blood pressure goes up. I start <laughs> feeling you know antsy and wanting to go outside and uh, throw a football around, though it hurts my shoulder. <laughs> you know, those were were the pinnacle of the games you know, that uh, meant so much were, were so exciting during those times. We went to eight, um, uh, we were in the playoffs nine out of ten years and, you know, five Super Bowls. So that was a, a great era, great era. Boy, yeah, probably the best era of any team I can think of. You, uh, you're you in the Cowboys' ring of honor. That's got to feel incredibly special. Uh, it really is. I mean, you you think about the guys that have – played for the Cowboys you think about the stars that are that are up there I mean the Bob Lillies Leroy Jordans and Roger Staubach and and Tom Landry and you know they're and Drew Pearson now and uh, now we've got uh, Darren Woodson up there so there are some great players and it's such an honor to to be up there with those guys I mean it does give you 
a better notoriety, more fame, and and that's kind of one of the things that I that that's a good thing for me. I try to do things that are positive with that, you know, and uh, that's because if you've been blessed with that, you're uh, you're a fortunate guy, and you need to to give back, you know. Absolutely, Bob Lilly. I heard him say that Tom Landry was like a father to him. Do you feel that way too? Well, he was a, definitely a, a guiding force in my life. I know that, you know, and I've written a couple of books, and I was just, and the reason I bring this up, because I've been writing a prologue on one of them that should be coming out sometime, and and it made me think about what I'd written about him, and, and, uh, and I said that if you think about uh, pro football, and, uh, you know, I came from a small college. I was a free agent from Washtenaw Baptist College. And if you think about the football players today, and then they're 20-year-old kids, you know, the 21-year-old old kids, and they they develop into mature old guys at 30, you know. <laughs> and so you grow young, and you middle-aged, then you grow old. So therefore, the formative years of your life, you're either surrounded by one type of guy or another and led by a guy, one type of coach or another. And Tom Landry, the first thing he told us, uh, I'll never forget it, uh, when we were all together and uh, when we finally had, uh, they finally had named the team and he said, look, I want to get let you guys know that my priorities are God, family, and football in that order. And yeah, I'm a Christian, and that's the way I live my life. And it was a short uh, statement, but had a great impact and great influence on not only on me, but all the players. And you think about the other way that it could have been where a coach, you know, was out for one thing, and that's success and winning, and no matter what, it doesn't matter, and he doesn't have any rules to abide by, and all you had to do was when you stepped on that field, you had to play, which is what we did. But Coach Landry made us uh, represent the Dallas Cowboys as a team with character and class, and and he sat down and talked with me about being a Christian, and he talked did, did that with many players, and I know that that had so much influence as a foundation in my life at a very critical time because you're a star when you were the Dallas Cowboys and people throw things at you and you're it's a wild world and without that kind of stabilizing factor and and forceful because he made us wear ties on road trips you know had to talk to the press in a certain way and had that influence of hey we knew where his priorities were So I'm really glad that I had him as a coach. We will have more with Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor great Cliff Harris in just a few minutes. You need to save the date. The Jim Sundberg FCA Golf Classic is going to be in October, October 3rd, actually, at the Trophy Club Country Club. And I know October's a long ways away, but you need to check out the early registration incentives at dfwfca.org because you can get some great stuff. Again, go to our website, dfwfca.org. Coming up next, we'll talk more with Cowboy great Cliff Harris and find out if he's been hanging out with any of his old Cowboy teammates. Later in the show, we'll get our 50th anniversary classic moment from Cy Young award-winning pitcher, former Texas Ranger R.A. Dickey. This is the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, brought to you by the 39th Annual Tom Landry Open Golf Tournament, April 18th at the Stonebriar Country Club in Frisco. Hall of Famer Tim Brown is this year's honorary chairman. Can you imagine what it would be like to listen to three legendary coaches share their faith and football stories live and in person? On May 12th, we are hosting the annual DFW Business Community Luncheon at the prestigious Fort Worth Club. Our special panel will include former Baylor football coach Grant Taff, former A&M and Alabama coach Gene Stallings, and former Notre Dame coach Lou Holtz. Hear great stories and inspiration during this time of Q&A from these three legendary coaches. For more information, visit dfwfca.org. The DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes celebrates 50 years of ministry in 2016, and we invite you to join us for the 39th Annual Tom Landry Open Golf Tournament on Monday, April 18th at the Stonebriar Country Club in Frisco. 
The honorary chairman and luncheon speaker this year is NFL Hall of Famer and Dallas native Tim Brown. Registration deadline to play is April 4th. Find registration information at www.dfwfca.org. Situated on 330 acres of beautiful natural landscape with facilities to accommodate groups up to 1,000, Lakeview Camp and Retreat Center is the ideal place to schedule your next event. Whatever your group's goals are, Lakeview aims to meet your needs, providing year-round service facilities for retreats, conferences, camps, corporate meetings, outdoor education outings, school events, and family gatherings. Our friendly staff is committed to making your stay a great experience. Come to Lakeview Camp and Retreat Center and enjoy state-of-the-art facilities, activities that engage and rejuvenate, comfortable lodging, and great food in a setting that inspires the awe of the greatness of God. To learn more about this scenic location for your next event, visit us online today. For more information, visit lakeviewcamp.net. I'm Chris Schneider. Welcome back to DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, sponsored by the 39th Annual Tom Landry Open Golf Tournament, April 18th at the Stonebriar Country Club in Frisco. We'll be hearing more from one of the 21 men who have been enshrined in the Cowboys' Ring of Honor, Cliff Harris, momentarily. Also in the next few minutes, our DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic moment will be with Cy Young Award-winning pitcher R.A. Dickey. You know, you can really fall into the trap of of validating who you are by how you perform on the field and that's just what I do it's not who I am and that that would be my my message would be you know understand your true worth more with R.A. Dickey coming up also in just a few minutes we will hear from DFWFCA area rep Glenn Verba to see how the Holy Spirit is moving in his FCA ministry I had one particular coach uh, last year that really accepted Jesus Christ in his coach's office or actually rededicated himself to Jesus Christ because of, I'm not saying it's me because it had to be God working through me through to him, but uh, yeah, it was that's definitely been a, a thrill to see him change and, and change in the right way. More from DFWFCA's Glenn Verba coming right up. Attention business owners who are friends of FCA, you can save money and support the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes at the same time learn how what your business does every day can help support dfwfca go to dfwfca.org and get all the details our special guest on faith and sports this week is one of the few men that have been enshrined into the dallas cowboys famed ring of honor cliff harris who went to five Super Bowls in his 10 seasons with the Cowboys before retiring at the age of 31. Cliff, thank you so much for hanging around with us today. Now, do you uh, hang out much with your old Dallas Cowboy teammates anymore? Yeah, well, I have a <laughs> – I was just where I was today. I'm a, I have a charity golf tournament here in Dallas <laughs> that – I'm on the board of juvenile diabetes, and they all come back and play in it once a year. So uh, I, that's when I see them, and I go to lunch with Leroy. Uh, I go to Leroy from uh, in Jordan and Walt from time to time. I work with Charlie Waters, so I see him every day. And so it's we stay in touch. Drew Pearson is a good close friend, and we feel right. So. Who was the biggest character among them? Well, you know, I mean, I think we all had our time – during the cowboy era that we were all pretty much characters but uh but they all all of them have mellowed out over the years i think the guy that's hung in there the longest and unique and most unique is walt garrison you know he's still a cowboy i mean a rodeo cowboy you know so but they're 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 good friends you were kind of an overcomer uh you know you go to a small little known college you become a star there but you don't get drafted you're a free agent you come in you make the cowboys you were always overcoming so what advice would you give to uh, those people out there right now who are going through struggles who have to overcome uh just you know day to day well i think that one of the things that um i i don't know and kind of looking back once again kind of writing this book had made me think back and reflect back a little bit and who i am and how i got there is that i think that that all you can do is is take really one day at a time i know this is going to sound trite but take one day at a time i think the thing about it is that that i think i the way i look at things is try to maximize everything that you're in 
try to make the best of it and make things work and figure out the best way to do something within your capabilities and keep refining that process, keep refining that process and always try to look at your what you do and what you're trying to accomplish and try to see if you can tweak it a little bit, make it a little bit better every day and have perseverance. And I think one of the things that say your prayers, you know, I have God's influence on it and you don't know what will will happen and expect the best and expect the best from God and expect the best of yourself. I'm truly a faithful Christian, but there's an old adage of trust in God, but tie up your camel first. So, you know, it is like, don't just sit back and wait for to say a prayer and hope nothing happens. It takes effort. It takes perseverance. It takes staying after it and believing in yourself. That is Dallas Cowboy great Cliff Harris, one of just 21 that have been enshrined in the Cowboys famed Ring of Honor. Thank you so much, Cliff. Can't wait to have you on the show again in the future. DFWFCA would like to thank you for your prayers and your support for the recent weekend of Champions Camp. 96 middle school athletes said yes to a relationship with Jesus, and 250 more recommitted their lives to him. Now, the DFWFCA Sports Leadership Camp at DBU is going to be coming up next. That is June 28th through July 1st, and this is for high school students. Go to dfwfca.org for all the information and how you can get all the latest news delivered straight to your email. Now, coming up next, we will hear from DFWFCA Area Representative Glenn Verba on what's going on, what, what he's seeing happening in area schools for Jesus Christ. We will also get your DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic moment from Cy Young Award-winning pitcher, former Texas Ranger R.A. Dickey. This is the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes weekly radio show, Faith in Sports, brought to you by the 39th Annual Tom Landry Open Golf Tournament, April 18th at the Stonebriar Country Club in Frisco. It's a time of celebration for the DFW FCA. We celebrate 50 years of ministry with the 39th annual Tom Landry Open Golf Tournament, April 18th. NFL Hall of Famer Tim Brown will be the speaker as the honorary chairman. The top three teams from each course will receive trophies and prizes. Ed Tuttle Jones and Preston Pearson led the winning teams last year. Dinner, prizes, and a brief live auction will be held following the afternoon round. Info on how you can join the celebration, www.dfwfca.org. There is a common place for student athletes and coaches to go to strengthen their faith in Christ. At my FCA huddle. There's a place to be encouraged to face the trials and temptations of life. At my FCA huddle. There is a place to receive confidence to share the light of Christ. At my FCA huddle. FCA huddles meet on junior high, high school, and college campuses all across America. To find one near you or to learn how to start one up, call toll-free 866-STV-5031 or go to fca.org. Did you know that after a trip to an FCA sports camp in Estes Park, Colorado in 1962, Dallas Cowboys coach Tom Landry felt inspired to use his position as a coach to influence young student-athletes. So in 1966, 50 years ago, Coach Landry helped launch the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Dallas. Hi, I'm Rick Bowles, North Texas Director for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and I'd like to ask you to tell us your FCA story. What impact did FCA have or is currently having on your life? Visit dfwfca.org for more information. I'm Chris Schneider. Welcome back to DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, sponsored by the 39th Annual Tom Landry Open Golf Tournament, April 18th at the Stonebriar Country Club in Frisco, and the registration deadline is coming up. That is April 4th. We will have our DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic Moment with Cy Young Award-winning pitcher R.A. Dickey coming up in just a few minutes. You need to make your plans to hear Grant Taft, Lou Holtz, and Gene Stallings talk at the DFWFCA Business Community Luncheon at the Fort Worth Club. That's coming up May the 12th. Go to dfwfca.org to make your reservations for lunch with three coaching greats, Taff, Holtz, and Gene Stallings. 
DFWFCA Area Director for Northwest Texas is Glenn Verba. He joins us now in the Faith and Sports Studio. Glenn, it is an honor to have you here, sir. Thank you for joining us. Now, you're fairly new to full-time ministry with FCA, but you've been associated with the uh, FCA for quite a while. I was, I was always the huddle coach in all the years I coached, which was 33 years. And so I just sort of took that and ran with it. And I've been with FCA now for a little over two years as, as an area rep. Okay, so you actually started out as a coach and then decided you wanted to get involved with FCA. That is true. Why? What, what made the uh, decision that you had to do that? I've always wanted to focus on something truly spiritual and see if that's where God wants me to be. And this door just sort of sort of opened up uh, with FCA through Rick, and it's all just sort of worked out. Does it take faith? Uh, was that a step of faith to make that move? Uh, y- yes. You, I mean, I prayed a lot about it. I talked to my wife about it, and we both prayed about it. And there's definitely a, a, it's, it's a, it's a step of faith or a leap of faith, whatever you want to call it, to, to see is this really where I'm supposed to be. What's your passion here? What uh, makes FCA the thing? For me, it's the, it's the coaches through the kids because the huddle coaches I get to deal with because I did it for so many years their impact is beyond what anybody can believe from a spiritual standpoint and I I I understand coaches since I was one for 33 years so I feel like I have a really easy in with them and they tend to trust me really quickly because I get them I get where they're at so to me it's it's coaches. Have you seen any life changing uh, situations that that you've been a part of? Well I had one particular coach uh, last year that really accepted Jesus Christ in his coach's office or actually rededicated himself to Jesus Christ because of, I'm not saying it's me because it had to be God working through me through to him. But uh, yeah, it was that's definitely been a, a thrill to see him change and, and change in the right way. See a lot of coaches, do they fight you on this or are they open to you on this? I see both. I see, I see coaches that you can tell pretty quickly they don't mind talking about spiritual things and then others that I've been going to for now a little over two years and it's just, you know, you, you just keep showing up, you be persistent, and you hope that God's working on them. But it's, it's you can tell they don't maybe really want me there. <laughs> yeah. it, it, coaching is a very tough thing to do. I mean, uh, that takes a lot out of them. So they need, if they're smart, they know they need somebody to help them, right? Yes, sir. It, it's, it's it, you know, time is their enemy, generally as a coach, because you, you put so much time and focus on the sport you're, you're coaching. Uh, but they also understand that if I can get – somebody to equip me from the outside better to handle that, it tends to work out better for them. How many schools do you deal with? I, I, I deal with around 40 schools. That keeps you a little bit busy, I'm guessing. Yes, sir, it does. I mean, I'm on the road a lot. I'm, I'm out in sort of the rural area. I've got Wise, uh, Jack, and Parker County. So I do uh, – sometimes I may drive – be on the road for a couple of hours just driving just to get to schools. You're not like – in the DFW Metroplex, so you've got uh, you've got some area to cover out there. Yes, sir, I do. My little truck is still trying to figure it out. So if people want to get in contact with you, if they're hearing you now on the radio and they're going, it's really neat what he's doing, I want to help him out, how can they do that? Well, my email is G, and I'm going to spell it out because my last name is always misspelled, G-V-R-B-A at F-C-A dot org is the easiest way to get hold of me. Just email me and let me know because uh, – it's it's just anybody could help out in any way with FCA volunteer financially. We're always looking for, for those type of good Christian businessmen or good Christian people. What would surprise somebody about uh, your ministry? Uh, you know, you've got an FCA ministry. You deal with coaches and students. Uh, what would surprise people about what you do? Probably, I would say, eighty percent of the people you run into think you're self-sufficient and and you get paid by FCA and they don't know that we raise all of our own funds. So that's probably the biggest surprise that they don't know about. And again, how do they get in touch with you if they want to help you? That's gvrba at fca.org. They can also find me on the uh, dfwfca.org website. Click on Donate. Find my name and go from there. That is Glenn Verba, the DFWFCA area rep for Northwest Texas. Thank you, sir. God bless your ministry. It's time for the DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic Moment, provided this week by pitching great R.A. Dickey. R.A. was drafted 18th overall in the first round by the Texas Rangers in 1996. In 2012, he became the first knuckleball pitcher to win the Cy Young as New York Mets. He is now with the Toronto Blue Jays, R.A. providing young athletes with some great advice in this week's classic moment. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Don't be afraid to risk things, tell the truth, and know that people around you uh, care about you, uh, care about your well-being, 
want to love on you well. And one of the, I think one of the traps that the devil wants to perpetrate on us is that no one really knows our story or cares about our personal stories. Um, nothing could be further from the truth. Um, you know, God has given us a community of people who really want to invest in one another. And, um, you know, if you're a Christian, you get that. And so my, my advice would be to be vulnerable and um, to, to be honest with who you are and the things that you struggle with. That is Cy Young Award-winning pitcher R.A. Dickey with this week's DFWFCA 50th Anniversary Classic Moment. We would be so honored to have you partner with us at DFWFCA as we continue to touch millions of lives for Jesus Christ. Just as Tom Landry envisioned when he started the DFWFCA 50 years ago. To see how you can volunteer or donate, go to dfwfca.org or give us a call at 214-739-8003. That's 214-739-8003. Coming up next, we will tell you who the special Special guest will be joining us here on the show next week is one current Major League star playing for the Yankees and another star who just retired as a Yankee. We'll also tell you who will provide the DFWFCA 50th anniversary classic moment on next week's show, a man who coached three national championship winning teams in college football. This is DFWFCA's Faith in Sports, sponsored by the 39th Annual Tom Landry Open Golf Tournament, April 18th at the Stonebriar Country Club in Frisco. What if athletic fields across the country were filled with students challenging each other to read the Word of God and come to faith in Jesus Christ. Oh, we totally rocked Fields of Faith. It's such an amazing experience to see so many teens there, so much more than I expected. Fields of Faith was one of the most amazing things I've ever been to. I think every school should really try it. It was awesome. God is up to something huge here. The students are searching and so hungry for the truth. To find a field near you or to learn how to organize one, go to fieldsoffaith.com. In 1966, Coach Tom Landry had the inspiration to start the Fellowship of Christian Athletes in Dallas. This year, Dallas-Fort Worth FCA is celebrating God's amazing impact on coaches and athletes during our 50th anniversary. Over 16,000 students and athletes are involved with FCA in North Texas. Nearly 500 coaches and teachers volunteer their time to influence student athletes. Visit dfwfca.org for more information, including how you can pick up some one-of-a-kind 50th anniversary products like caps, shirts, coffee mugs, and more. I'm Chris Schneider. Thank you for joining us for DFWFCA's Faith in Sports Radio Show, brought to you by the 39th Annual Tom Landry Open Golf Tournament, April 18th at the Stonebriar Country Club in Frisco. We would love to connect with you. You can find us on Facebook at DFWFCA and on Twitter at FCA DFW. Our thanks to Cowboy great Cliff Harris and Blue Jay pitcher R.A. Dickey for joining us on the show today. I'm Chris Schneider, the Sports and Spirits Speaker. You can find me at RadioactiveSpeaking.com. Godly messages with stories from the greatest coaches and athletes of all time. Find the Sports and Spirits Speaker at RadioactiveSpeaking.com. Our special guests next week will be two of the top Major League players of the last generation, Yankee Mark DeShira and longtime time Oriole Brian Roberts. Our classic moment next week will come from University of Nebraska coaching legend Tom Osborne. Guests scheduled to join us in future weeks include Lou Holtz, Grant Taft, Roger Staubach, Bob Lilly, Dan Reeves, Clayton Kershaw, and many others. FCA's Faith in Sports is an outreach of DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Hosted and produced by me, Chris Schneider. Executive producer is Rick Bowles. For information on DFW FCA, contact Rick at R. Bowles, B-O-W-L-E-S, R. Bowles at F-C-A dot O-R-G. And remember this week to do all that you do unto the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you from the DFW Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Faith in Sports.